Hi and welcome to Shobhsa's classes. Today we are going to be doing some very important numerical questions on chemistry. Let's begin. Now we need to find all the possible isomers for the molecular formula C6H14. Let's see how many they are. The first one will be CH3, CH2, 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 CH2 and lastly with the CH3. This is known as N hexane. The next isomer will be CH3, CH2, CH2, CH with 2 CH3 on its side chain. This is also known as 2 methyl pentane. The others will be CH3, CH2. Now the methyl is in the seg in the middlemost chain that is CH, then again CH2 and lastly CH3. This is known as 3 methyl pentane. Further, we have other isomers as this compound is known as 2 2 dimethyl butane. Notice that this carbon out here forms an isomer by taking two methyl groups in its side chain. Now let's see whether we can have any more isomers or not. CH, CH, let's put one methyl group out here, CH3, CH3. Therefore, this compound is known as 2,3 dimethyl butane. Thus, the answer to our question is, there will be total 5 isomers of the chemical formula of C6H14. Let's see another question. It is said that on hydrolysis of 15.45 gram of benzonitrile produced 10.98 gram of benzoic acid therefore we need to find the percentage yield of the acid form since molar mass of C6H5Cn equals to 103 and the molar mass of C6H5 C O O H equals to 1 to 22. This is the benzonitrile that we have spoken of, and the next case, this is the benzoic acid. Therefore, according to the question, 15.45 grams of C6 H5 Cn equals to 122 into 15.45 by 103. This is because since 103 grams of C6H5Cn gives 122 grams of benzoic acid that is C6H5COOH which equals 18.3 grams of benzoic acid. Thus, the actual yield is equals to 10.98 grams. Therefore, we need to find the percentage yield. That can be found as 10.98 which is the actual yield into 100 for percentage by 18.30 that is the supposed percentage of yield this gives us 60 percent thus upon giving C6H5Cn there is a 60 percent conversion rate in the next question we are given acetic acid contained in commercial vinegar it was analyzed by titrating against 1.5 molar NaOH solution. 
Then a 20 ml vinegar sample was taken which required 18 milliliters of titrant to give the end point. Now we need to calculate the concentration of acetic acid in the vinegar. Notice we have to write it in moles per liter. Therefore, remember the formula M1 V1 equals to M2 V2. Now putting in the values from the question, we find 1.5 into 18 equals to M2 into 20. Thus, M2 equals to 1.5 into 18 by 20, giving us 13.5 molars of M2. Thus, M2 equals to 1.35 mole li per liter. Now, we need to find the number of pH bonds in the hydrophosphoric acid. The formula of hydrophosphoric acid is H3PO2. Thus, let us draw the structure H P OH double bond O single bond H. Thus, it has two pH bonds. Thus, the answer out here will be 2. Now we have a diffraction experiment. In this experiment with x-rays of wavelength 1.54 angstrom a difference a diffraction line sorry corresponds to 2 theta which equals to 20.8 degree is observed. Now we need to find the interplanar separation in angstrom. Now we will be using Bragg's law and according to that lambda equals to 2d sin theta for n equals to 1. Therefore 2d equals to lambda by sin theta or sin theta equals to sin 10.4 this is because 2 theta equals to 20.8 thus theta equals to 10.4 now simplifying it further sin theta equals to 0 0.1805 this we have calculated using a calculator. Now, 2 sin theta equals to 2 sin 10.4 which equals to 2 into 0 0.1805 that is 0 0.361. Now, we will calculate D. Therefore, D equals to 1.54 by 0 0.361 which equals to 4.265 angstrom and you need to give the reasoning since d is equals to lambda by 2 sin theta which you can prove using the Bragg's law. In the next question we are given enthalpy of formation of CH4 in in gaseous form, carbon in gaseous form and hydrogen also in gaseous form are minus 75, 717 and 218 kilojoules per mole respectively. Now we need to calculate the enthalpy of the CH bond in kilojoules per mole. Let us first write the reaction. Carbon in solid form plus 2H2 in gaseous form gives us CH4 gaseous therefore HR equals to summation H F degree P minus summation H F degree R now 
now hr equals to minus 75 minus 717 plus 4 into 218 this equals to minus 75 minus 717 plus 872 this equals minus 1664 kilojoules per mole now also we see that hr is equals to h f degrees which equals to 4 summation b e carbon hydrogen bond therefore bond energy b e of carbon hydrogen bond equals to minus 1664 by 4 which equals to minus 416 kilojoules per mole this comes to an end of one of our videos like subscribe and stay tuned for more such amazing and much harder questions on such topics